Hello, I'm Nina. I'm one of the project managers here at the WFP Innovation Accelerator, and I do work on a couple of hydroponic innovation projects that we're doing. And I want to introduce you to the food computer. This is a project that we're doing together with the Jordan country office and uh, in technology that was developed by MIT. So if you want to have a look, so what's great about, first of all, maybe hydroponics, it's, um, it's an agriculture technique where you can grow any kind of food um, without fertile soil. So in this case, we're growing it in water. And the beauty of this, uh, this computer is that inside we can recreate any kind of climate that you would find anywhere around the world. And, um, and we're doing this to find the perfect climate recipe, let's say, to grow you know, any kind of plants. And why are we doing this in Jordan? In Jordan we have lots of Syrian refugees um, living in camps and it's really in a deserted area where you cannot do traditional agriculture actually. So what we want to do is try to find out which plants have either you know, very high uh, nutritional value or a high market value. And we want to try to find the perfect recipe to then like, grow them on a larger scale inside these refugee camps to, you know, to benefit the refugees and also to benefit the Jordan host community. And I want to show you a bit how this works. So I will open this up. So this is the climate chamber. <clears throat> in there, we have a water basin where the plants are in. Right now, we're doing a cucumber recipe. So the plants you see are still very, very, um, very small, but really started them from seed. And the cool thing is, we are like we have one food computer here and 11 more in the Jordan country office, and um, and so we're doing this recipe at three places at the same time. So one food computer here, one in Jordan, and one in the States, where the MIT lab is working on it. So if you have a look, please here. You see, these are the little cucumber plants. They're just about three weeks old. So they're very little, but we really started them from seed. And what happens right now, they haven't developed the roots really, but once they have developed the roots, like with this plant here, it will just go into the water and it will suck everything it needs out of the water. So what does it need? Water and nutrients, oxygen and light. So the nutrients come in through these little tubes the light comes obviously from here that recreates the sunlight um, and the oxygen gets pumped into here by this water pump. So you see the water is always in movement. And how can we create the perfect recipe? So in here we have a couple of sensors that measure, um, that measure the, the oxygen level, that also measure temperature. We have cameras here that take like that always take pictures of leaves, for example, so they can also tell you know, how well the plant is doing. This here regulates the temperature because it's actually a heater and an AC unit. So that way you could really, you know, like you can also control day and night and you could make it, like for example, if you would want to grow tomatoes to taste like in Southern Italy, you would just create kind of like the climate of Naples in here. And um, another thing, how does all of this get controlled? If you come to this side, here you see, that's why we call it the food computer. Because you actually have a whole, it's a Raspberry Pi, so like this is the control unit that controls everything. And here, all the light. Um, and in here, you will have the water that needs to go into, um, into the water basin and also the nutrient solutions. Um, all of this can be, well, obviously controlled on a computer and also controlled remotely. So for example, here on this computer, we could access the food computers placed in Jordan and change the temperature, for example, inside here. Also the MIT guys in the US can also change the temperature or any kind of, um, you know, of, of of uh, situation in here. So 
It's really quite exciting because it's a very, very new technology and we're the first ones to actually test this out and, and we hope to have the first results of the experiments about the summer and that we can then really start to implement it on a larger scale um, for the refugees by this fall.